is a selection of the Hanuman books which were printed together with Raymond Foy and we published more than uh, 50 titles. And these books were modeled uh, after prayer books that were published at that time in Tamil Nadu. They include writings by artists and painters and poets from the Beat Generation. I'm very proud of the Hanuman books. The way the Hanuman books began was Francesco and I shared this common love of poetry, but not just poetry, but poets, you know, the actual people. It was the older poets and writers who were still on the scene, the beats like Burroughs and Ginsberg, Herbert Hunky, Gregory Corso, and then it was younger writers like Cookie Mueller, Eileen Miles, Vincent Katz. It was very intergenerational. Francesco had this printer named C.T. Nacciapin, and he was a remarkable printer, a remarkable person. We asked, could he do it? And he said, yes. Well, the handmade quality of the books was very important to us, and this history of craft was still very much alive in India. They're hand-sewn. They have these beautiful paper jackets, which are Pondicherry paper. We had images tipped in these books, in some cases, you know, seven or eight images, so they, many of these are illustrated books. Some of these books, uh, the, the pictures are very important. For instance, Robert Frank. You know, this is basically a film script. The offices of Hanuman Books were here in the Chelsea Hotel, where we are right now. That's where we edited the books, put them together, did the layout. And we had a lot of book parties. A lot of the writers would come by and you know, just have a drink and sit around. It was a social endeavor. It was very much about the people. We ended up publishing 50 books over 10 years. And the reason we stopped publishing books is because our printer, Nachi Appen, retired from printing. And then I realized it was better to just stop at that point and let it be a project that existed in that moment in time.